Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1, this is Lesson 21. Get your name down there first. Don't leave it for later because you won't, you won't remember it. Number 1, draw the 5 group card to show a double. And then write the number sentence to match the cards. So here's an example up here of what we're doing. We're making doubles. Doubles are when you just add the same number to itself. You double it. So for A, we have 4, and we're going to draw the other card, 4. So and then we write the uh, number sentence to match the cards, 4 plus 4. Now, remember the 5 group cards. If you have them, you can just turn them over. Right? Now on the other side of this, you don't have to draw this. But in case you don't have them, or you, you don't remember what these are, or you didn't use them before, um, on the other side you'd have four dots of these four cards. And you can use them, because if, you if you're still counting to add up, you can still use the dots and count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's how you use the, the five group cards to add. You can count the dots. It's eight dots altogether. Uh, so we've got for B we've got the three, so we need another three. And then we just have the doubles. Number sentence three plus three equals six. And we have a five, so we need another five. And five plus five. Just like five fingers on your left hand, plus five fingers on your right hand, ten fingers. Number two. Fill in the five group cards in order from least to greatest, right? Least is the smallest and greatest is the largest. Uh, so we're going to work up from one and then double the number and write the number sentences. It's a little bit like what we just did, but now we're going from least to greatest. So our first one here, A, we have both the cards already. We have one plus one. One plus one equals two. And now we have twos. Two plus two equals four. And then we have threes. Three plus three. Equals six. And now we have a four. So we're looking at fours. Four plus four. Equals eight. It seems that one keeps coming up again and again, right? We just practiced it there. I know we've had it the last few homework assignments. I've seen it a lot lately. And after four comes five. Five. So we just did that one too. Five plus five equals ten. And we'll go to the next page. And now we're going to use doubles to solve other number sentences, right? Now that's coming up later when we start doing doubles plus one, and I'll explain that a little bit more. When, when the time comes. But for now, number three is just solve the number sentences. And you know these are all going to be doubles, right? And remember to read carefully because sometimes it's not always the add ends that go on the left. Sometimes the total goes on the left. So we've got to pay attention to where these symbols are. Here's the plus sign and there's the equal sign. So 3 plus 3 equals 6. 5 plus 5 equals 10. We just wrote all of these on the other page. So you could just look at them if you don't remember them. But you should practice these on the five group cards so that you can just really remember these and just without having to think about them too much, you should just know them just like somebody asks you your name and you just say your name because you, you don't have to think about it, you don't need a rhyme to remember it, you just, you just, it comes right out, you know it. You don't have to count to think about it. Four is two twos, two plus two, and eight is two fours, four plus four. Those doubles are really good ones to know because now you, you'll see in this one, we use them to solve other problems too. And in second graders use doubles a lot and third graders use them even more. So you're gonna need them a lot. So they're really good ones to practice and just really know them well. So we're matching the top cards to the bottom cards to show doubles plus one. And now I just wanna explain a little bit what doubles plus one is. So the idea is that here's, a, here's an example of a double, 2 plus 2. And we already know that we've done this one. We've practiced it already. 
2 plus 2 equals 4. Well, the idea of doubles plus 1 is, well, if I know 2 plus 2 equals 4, I add 1 to one of those 2s, then it's 2 plus 3. And since 3 is 1 more than 2, this total is going to be 1 more than 4. That's a doubles plus 1. That's going to give you one more example of it. If we had the double of 3 plus 3 equaling 6, doubles plus 1 would be 3 plus, oops, doubles plus 1 would be 3 plus, right, add one more, 4, and then I'm adding one more to the total, 2, 7. All right, so there's the plus 1. I add 1 to that 3, and then I'm also adding 1 to the total, because it's going to make the total 1 bigger. So, um, I'm going to show doubles plus 1, right? So, 1 plus... It would be 1 plus 1 would be the double, so what I'm looking for here is 1 plus 2. And... 4 plus 4 would be the double for 4, here for B, so I'm looking for 4 plus 5 for the double plus 1. And 3 plus 3 would be the double for 3, but it's plus 1, so I'm adding 3 plus 4. And 2 plus 2 would be the double for expression for 2. So, but instead of adding, I'm making, making it double plus 1, so I'm not 2 plus 2, it's 2 plus 3. And so now we've matched the top cards to the bottom cards to show doubles plus 1. And I'm going to keep all that, because I'm going to refer back to it for number 5. So I'm going to try and fit this all in here. So now we're solving doubles plus 1 number sentences. And we're going to write the double fact that help us solve the double plus 1. So... All right, so here's 2 plus 3. Now, I, I practiced this one earlier, right? When I thought of 2 plus 2, I said, well, if 2 plus 2 is 4, then 2 plus 3 is 5. And that's exactly what this is. This is the example right here. So that means we just figure that out, right? That's 2 plus 3 is 5. And the double fact that I thought of, if I knew it, was 2 plus 2 equals 4. If I knew that really well, then I think, well, 2 plus 2 is 4. Well, 2 plus 3 has to be 1 more five, one more than 4. It has to be 5. Here would be. And that one, we just practiced that one too, right? That one's right there. It's right here. That's the one I practiced up there, for an example. So we're looking at 3 plus... It would be 3 plus 3, right? But it's plus 1, 4. That we were thinking of 3 plus 3 for the double. That's what we added 1 to. Make it a double plus 1. 3 plus 3 plus 6. And this one, what, what's the missing add in here? Now, there's lots of ways you could solve this, right? You could count up to 9 from 4. I think 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It took 5 fingers. You could solve it that way. And then just think that the related doubles fact would be 4 plus 4 equals 8. 